build mastery toward the common core standards. What I wanted to start with today is no matter what school you're from, what district, what your position is, we're all here for one thing, and that's the students, and how we can best integrate technology into the classroom to help kids learn. As you can see here, and we didn't pay these, these aren't paid actors, these are real students who seem so become. It's incredibly engaging, fun, and exciting for students. At SoFiCom, we really put teachers and students at the center of our product, with the goal of making the most user-friendly program, period, out there, the most effective. As you can see here, students can play individually, or they can play as a team in your class in a multiplayer game, which is what you see all the cheering here. It's also incredibly positive and motivational for students. I'm not making this up, we've had kids begging to stay in from recess and after school to play SoFiCom. So, beyond the fun and games, how does this work? We're completely aligned to the Common Core, and students are able to build mastery toward Common Core standards through scaffolded learning experiences. You can see from our curriculum navigator here that you can actually assign specific standards for students to work on, and you can also launch lessons to teach in small groups or whole group. Let's take a look. Here's an example of a very high depth of knowledge question from the Smarter Balance Assessment. You can see in this question that students are required to have a solid understanding of both perimeter and area and use that in a real world problem. When we take a look at the Align SoFiCon learning experience, you can see that students are exposed to the exact same level of rigor as well as the technological components of the Smarter Balance Assessment, such as the drag and drop that you see in this problem here. But what if your students aren't quite ready to take on this sort of rigor? Each student will start out playing SoFiCom by taking a placement test, beginning with kindergarten level standards and getting progressively harder as they get questions correct. What this enables us to do is create a personalized learning path for every single student so they're being challenged at the appropriate level in each of the four domains. So if you look at Julie Sanchez here, a third grader, she's doing really well in geometry but she's struggling in fractions. So when she plays these different games, she'll be given content that's appropriate to her level to fill in the gaps. After the placement test, students use virtual manipulatives to build mastery and to explore new concepts. What you're seeing here is students are able to manipulate unit blocks to break them into fractions and learn about operations with fractions. You can also see there's a help video available for remediation and to help students that are struggling along the way. So how do we know it works? SOPICOM was developed with grants from the U.S. Department of Education uh, and based on research that intends engagement and leads to uh, more higher achievement. We also have seen in studies that just playing for 20 minutes a day, two days a week, actually leads to proven results on tests. And without doing a full research study, you can actually see yourself as a teacher and track progress with our real-time mastery reports, which will allow you to see where students are struggling and group students for intervention, or go back and see where you need to reteach. So, we invite you to come by, check it out more.